I'm JM and we're going to be grilling salmon on your Mac Grills Two Star General, so let's get started. So the last cookout I was doing, I used hickory pellets for fish. I'm going to change it to Mac Grills Hazelnut Blend. Here's the pellet hopper holds 20 pounds of pellets. Right here you're seeing hickory, and that's great for some stronger meats, but for a lighter meat like fish, I'm going to show you the quick change pellet door that Mac has installed right underneath the pellet hopper. This here, we're going to unscrew, and the pellets fall right where you want them. So here's the configuration that we're going to use for fish fillets. We're going to smoke them first on the smoke set point and then we're going to move them to the warming box right over here on the right side of the grill. There's two open vents right here that any smoke produced in the main chamber travels into the warming box where there's no fire but the smoke passes over the food keeping it warm, keeping it smoky and exiting the grill right here through these vents. While the fish is going to be in the warming box, we're going to make some cheddar garlic biscuits and there's nothing like fish and biscuits. This is going to be a fantastic meal and simpler than you think. Let's open the main chamber. We've got both of the grill grates in here. We've also got the flame zone covers. Covering the flame zone, this is going to be an indirect smoke. The smoke being produced is going to be uh, going out around and on top of the fish in this configuration. So let's go right over here to the pellet boss. To set it up for smoke, simply hit on. By default, it's on smoke. You don't need to do a thing else. Let's go ahead and get the fish ready and put it on the grill. Mac Grills creates a fish rub. What else are you going to put on your fish? No questions, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Lightly dust the fish just like that. You can be a bit liberal on the thicker parts of the fish. Towards the end of the cook, we're going to glaze them with Mac Grills rum grilling sauce. Now we're going to go ahead and add lemon juice to the fish. Let's go ahead and add the salmon to the grill. Oh, look at that smoke. Absolutely fantastic. So here's what we're going to do. The fish has been on the set point of smoke for about half an hour, 40 minutes. They're not completely cooked yet, but we want to make biscuits and have them done at the same time. I'm going to open the warming box right here. Simply place the fish in there. use the remote boss and although I can use this a football field away from my grill I'm gonna go ahead and do it right next to it so you see exactly how it works simply turn it on by holding the on button it'll take a second to connect and it'll read the exact same thing on the pellet boss as it does the remote boss 195 and now what we're gonna do is we're going to set the temperature you press set it'll blink we're gonna hold up till it goes crazy high all the way up to 450 degrees just a tip the higher heat that you have the set point at the less smoke you're going to have if you pass 450 it'll simply go to high which is really continuous auger movement of the pellets press set it stops blinking and you probably heard an increase in the fan because it increases the fan if you listen very closely you'll hear the pellets dropping into that fire pot and it's going to get hot in there. Let's go ahead and get those cheddar garlic biscuits into the Two Star General.
what you're looking at is the fish that's been in the warming box for about, I'd say, 10 additional minutes since it left the main chamber of the Mac. We're going to go ahead and glaze it with Mac's rum grilling sauce. I tell you, if you like the flavor of rum, put it in your grilling sauce and you got some magic. So let's make it happen. A nice thin sauce like this rum grilling sauce makes an excellent glaze for fish. It's going to be on that fish for about 10 more minutes, which is when the biscuits come off. So everything is coming off at the same time. So it's just about dinner time. Biscuits are ready. The fish is ready. Let's see what we've got. Oh, looking so good. And in case you're wondering if the Mac Two Star General knows how to cook a biscuit, check that out. Perfect golden crust. These are the four fish fillets we started with about an hour ago. When you read online and you hear people say, does the fish flake easily? That's what they mean. I think I needed a bigger plate. And that's how you make salmon on your Matt Grills Two Star General. Now you're smoking.